Bro, this ain't even gonna be long, man. I wanted to make a response to Blackheart. He talked about how guys are not approaching these women anymore. Women are complaining about not getting approached. And you, there, there are men that still got the foot in the game. They talking about, oh, this gender war is stupid, bro. Some guys are like either blue pill or purple pill. They're still trying to defend the status quo of the, the dating scene here in the West. Talking about we're at end times because of guys like, like um because of guys like Kevin Samuels and, and Zara Zara. Look. Look, guys know that's that's what the deal is. Men know the game. Or a lot of guys are starting to get hip to the game. These bimbos, they they can't manipulate these guys the way they used to. I mean some of these bimbos can still manipulate a lot of guys, but at the same time a lot of guys are getting hip to the game. Guys know that's just what it is. Guys know. They know the games that some of these should be playing. They understand the truth of this um mating dating game in here in the West. Guys are walking away or they just you know traveling, getting that passport and travel. Which is what I'm gonna do eventually. Cause I'm not getting what I want out here. It's not much people I want here in where I'm from anyways. And if I see somebody that I think that's attractive, bruh, I already know what it is. I, I'm going to have to either leave my state or go outside the country. And Tito, he, he predicted that, you know, that the general is going to be men versus men. The simps. And... There's going to be another gender war. The gender war is going to be different. It's going to be the men who want to escape the matrix slash have some red pill awareness about the game, the truth about what these um these bras be on against the, the men that still want to defend the status quo in the women. So the men and the women are going to work together against certain men. I already see it coming. Too little too late. There's a lot of women that's trying to take the red pill and try to see things from the guy's perspective. Too little too late. A lot of them are either chameleons or even if they do have good intentions. It's like you waited this long to see the writing on the wall. I mean, you waited this long to see it for what it is. And the only reason why you coming up, come, uh, coming out and speaking out right now and being vocal is because you see the writing on the wall. A lot of guys are walking away. So a lot of these, these bimbos, they can't be trusted, period. And especially if you're a black man, it's going to be hard out here. Now, the only session is if you're dealing with a lot of these... um. A lot of these Beckys in, in precious speeches, but not everybody is looking for that. And you still got to look out for some of them. Like, I, I say most brothers out here trying to get on women of color. They looking for women of color. Now, I'm not saying all, but it's a lot of bullshit with them, especially here in the States. And and if this memento keeps going, it's gonna get to, to the point where this might even be like a, a crisis here, a national crisis, when it's starting to um be known naturally that men are now approaching women like that. And I gotta give you a shout out, Blackheart, because you you the one that's being vocal on this particular issue, and you call out you call that chick out that um Lebanese shit. She's solid when it comes to like men and women, but when it comes to race, bro, she bugging. And I'm thankful that you called her out or anybody else out. 
when it comes to this race thing and what what I think what I'm thinking about the whole race thing is that we're giving other people a pass. We call these white folks, but we don't call all these other people of color when it comes to the race. Especially a lot of these age, bro. We don't call them out. They get hella passes. Yeah, you got some Latinos here and there, but it's not really that deep compared to these white folk in these um in these Asian folk. Cause they be talking hella greasy. You you got bitches on here like Lauren Chan talking that shit. And I'm surprised nobody called her ass out. Why haven't anybody called her ass out yet? Yeah, it is what it is. But back to what I was saying earlier about women trying to come to the table with men. It, it's too late. All this information that guys know, it's, it's not going to be the same. Even if guys entertain this shit, it, it, it's never going to be the same. Guys are gonna have it always um excuse me. Guys are always gonna have it in the back of their head. Female nature, red pill, alpha beta, um, shit test, shit test. You know, I can have it all. All this other BS, man. Hey, guys are fed up with it. It's it's really getting aggravating too. And and let's be honest, some guys wanna clown guy for like traveling and stuff. People traveling just to get sex, and that's not always the case. Guys want to travel for the culture, be in a different environment. That's why I want to. But even if that's the case, guys just traveling to have sex. So what? Guys will travel a mile. I mean, guys will travel an hour or two hours to a place just to get get some sex. Meet up with a chick and get some sex. Spend hundreds of dollars just to get sex on some good clothes. I mean, you paying for drinks in the club. Guys will get a damn house, a house mortgage, just so they can get their own, have their own spot, so they can get women in. Just keep it a buck. So what if guys are traveling just to get sex? Guys won't have to do that if they weren't deprived. A lot of guys are getting deprived, or they feel like they're not getting what they want, even if they're not getting deprived. Let's just be honest. A lot of guys are just getting scraps. They're just getting what they can get. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Because when people say, oh, you're just getting scraps or you're just getting what you can get, that that's automatically a negative connotation on that. When that's not necessarily always the case. You can get an eight and still get, you're just getting what you can get. I can get an eight and, and still get, I'm just getting what I can get. Maybe... I don't have a lot, a lot of access to these eights. I just only have a limited access to eights. And I just happen to run into an eight that just happened to feel, feel me. She just happened to have some interest in me. I was at the right place at the right time, at the right moment. That's still me getting what I can get. Cause it, it's not like I can just be getting eights from wall to wall, like on some Chris Brown type shit. You know, getting girl, girls keep coming from wild to wild. Because I made a video and, and I mentioned that black men, we're just, we're really just getting what we can get. We're getting what's available to us, which is limited. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because somebody will, we hear what I'm saying and, that, and they'll try to say, oh, we, we we only get the bottom of the barrel. We don't get desirable chicks. No, that's not what I mean when I say we're just getting what we get. I'm just saying we're just getting what's available to us who's showing us interest. And that can mean anything. A five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, it's based on perspective. But, hey, I got to give you a shout out, Blackheart. And I want to see you make more videos on that topic. And this is all I got to say, and I'm out.